Hi, my name is Garrick and I'm here with Zero-G to give you a very fast introduction on how to install Ethra EVI. Ethra EVI is the newest release in the Ethra series um, and it's an absolutely fantastic library. What we're going to do today is put Ethra EVI into Contact 5 so it's always there to access and we don't have to go through the Mac Finder or the Windows browser to load all the files and all the instruments up because uh, that can really disrupt my workflow if I'm in the studio uh, working in my DAW or I'm on a recording session. This way we've got a very fast and easy way to open all of the patches. Now I've loaded Etho EVI into my external sound storage hard drive in contact instruments and it's the labeled Zero G Etho EVI. Now if we click in there we've got loads of folders um, and if I wanted to I can open them just from here double click base 02 and it will load in contact but as I said we want to streamline this process somewhat so we're just going to close that and close collapse the file system here okay so the windows we need in contact are the browser and quick load so we're going to use F1 uh, or we can click there to open the browser and command F for quick load what we then need to do is locate the external hard drive that I've got the sounds on, which is sound storage, uh, and double click contact instruments. I'm then going to come to the box below that and find Ethra EVI. I'm then going to drag and drop it into that quick load folder as a new file. Uh, and that will transfer all of the location information into contact. Okay, so I'm just going to rename it quickly, Ethra EVI. And as you can see, we've got all of the stuff we need in there. We've got the synth instruments, um, the vocal builder, vocal phrases, and it's all located in contact. I can now collapse the browser and I can even collapse the quick load. From here, all we need to do is click on that save button or the floppy disk, new instrument from list, locate Ethra EVI. And you can see in the drop down menu, all of my options are there. So we're just going to open up the true legato. Awesome. Um, if I wanted to change this patch, uh, then all I have to do is click on the drop down arrow next to the title of the patch, go into Ethera EVI again, and select a different one, maybe uh, Synth Bass 13. Okay, so I hope you found this tutorial really useful. Hopefully it gives you a quick start with Ethera EVI and you can immediately get down to being creative. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, remember to like, share and subscribe. Uh, remember to sign up to our newsletters for more tips and tricks and offers and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.